Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the next four days, certainly not the greatest four days here in southern New England, especially as far as uh, April goes. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar showing uh, some showers out there, mainly across southeastern Massachusetts, Cape Cod, the islands, tracking some uh, showers and downpours coming up Buzzards Bay, may clip New Bedford within the next hour or so. Wider view, we've got more rain showers across New York, down into uh, Long Island. We'll be seeing these showers arriving probably after about 2 o'clock or so. The next real round of showers and potential downpours looks like it's between 3 and 5 p.m. And not everybody will be seeing one. Uh, for today, our threat tracker, at that medium level, the potential of downpours and the slight chance of a thunderstorm uh, later uh, this uh, afternoon and evening. Saturday low, although it's going to be raining. Sunday for now low because there is the potential for some snow and maybe even thunder snow. No joke. Yeah, thunder snow possibly Sunday morning. Live pictures from Narragansett. Poor visibility down to about a third of a mile there in Narragansett all the way over in Westerly. Drizzly too. 50 degrees in Newport. They've got a wind 16 miles an hour. Had a gust up to 33 miles an hour earlier in uh, the morning. Upper 50s, low 60s. Providence North, low 50s at the south coast with those a wet conditions. You can see the batch of showers clipping Cape Cod. Now the batch of showers and downpours across New Jersey likely will be missing Rhode Island, but we are looking at the possibility of these showers out here across New York State, some more across uh, lower state New York, working their way into our region uh, during the mid to late afternoon. Cold front will be pushing through the northeast, working on some pretty humid air, and as a result, we're looking at the possibility of a few downpours. If we happen to squeak in a little bit of sunshine this afternoon, we run a, a risk of seeing a thunderstorm or two. Future cast for the afternoon actually indicates maybe a little bit of sun. Notice a few showers here in the area. Now here's 8 o'clock this evening. We have a line of thunderstorms trying to come on through, but they kind of fall apart as usual as they work their way into our area. Maybe a little bit of clearing tonight, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Already seeing the rain returning. Our showers will be around throughout much of the day. Maybe a little heavy at times. Here we are, 8 o'clock Saturday evening. Still looking at a few showers in the area. We'll talk about your Sunday in just a second. Your future cast for today. Low 60s inland, 50s at the coast, few showers down Downpour, slight chance of a thunderstorm. Here's Sunday. Intense little storm system will be whipping through southern New England and uh, looking at the possibility of a burst of snow in time between 4 a.m. and 10 a.m. Sunday morning. The winds will be picking up as well, bringing in the cold air, and it's possible we could actually see some thunder snow accumulations. Probably not a, a whole bunch. Saturday, let's take a closer look at your Saturday. Low 50s with a chance for showers pretty much throughout the entire day, morning and into the afternoon hours. Closer look at Sunday and we are expecting to see the snow and maybe a little bit of rain at the coastline in the morning, probably ending by noon. But wind chills in the afternoon hours will be down to the 20s with a little bit of sunshine. Hey, guess what? More snow possible Monday. That could could turn over to some rain in the afternoon. Something to watch for down the road, but crazy next four days. I don't like to look at that seven day. All right, thanks, TJ. Coming up tonight, starting live at five store owner loses faith in humanity after burglars break in, then has it restored when an eight year old boy offers him his allowance. Hear from both of them tonight. New at 530, the Target 12 investigators uncover new details on a fired school employee accused of using taxpayer money to make home improvements. New at six on Street Stories, local man using art to educate teens around the country about the dangers of distracted driving. Those stories plus all the day's breaking news later on Eyewitness News. If you're not home by 6, you can get an update on the day's big stories every weeknight. On Eyewitness News at 6.30, that's over on Fox.